In this video, I want to talk a little bit about surge protectors. I just had a call from a woman that asked me if I had any idea why some of her appliances in her house were smoking and blowing up. And I went out to her house and checked things out. I measured the power coming out of the outlet, and I measured about 245 volts out of some of the outlets. And I told her it looked like she was missing a neutral line on the service panel coming into the house. So I went out, checked things out. Sure enough, we found a uh, wire that actually broke inside the insulation, the neutral wire. And that's a common problem. I've heard that story on numerous occasions. And unfortunately, the surge protector she was using didn't do the job. And if you look at how it's constructed, it's no great wonder. I mean, this has got to be one of the real bottom end surge protectors here. All it really has is a circuit breaker and a varistor. These varistors are much like Zener diodes and they conduct at a certain voltage. Only difference is these work on alternating current. And once they uh, conduct, they're, they're blown. They're not coming back to life. Anyway, so I told her you, you got to spend some decent money on one of these things if you hope it's going to protect your electronic equipment. Technically, they call it a metal oxide varistor, by the way. Now, what I have on the right here is also a surge protector, or they call it, a, I believe they call it a constant voltage uh, transformer. It also reduces harmonics in the line and whatnot. And this thing must weigh 40 or 50 pounds. And I'm, I'm going to guess somebody probably paid, you know, close to $400 for it when it first came out. And you got to wonder if something like this is necessary, <laughs> how could you expect something like this to do the job, right? I know we've come a long way with technology, and I'm sure you don't necessarily have to have anything quite this big to do the job. But uh, if you want to understand, one of the rating you want to go by when you're looking for a surge protector is the joule rating. And I believe you want to get something that, that'll handle at least 2,000 joules or up. Uh, do your own research on it. Don't go by what I'm saying here. I just did a little quick checking it out there. And uh, Anyway, for what it's worth, uh, if you have very expensive electronic equipment and you want to protect it, I recommend you spend a little money and get something decent. All right, hope you like the video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up.